Xanthelasma and Xanthoma The clinical picture of xanthomas is one of a collection of cholesterol-engorged cells, which is not attached to the underlying structure as normal, appear on the overlying skin. Interest in xanthomas is growing, as the pathogenetic mechanism involved in the development appears to be the same as in other forms of skin conditions, diseases and skin cancer, such as melanoma and melanocytic leukemia. Xanthelasma is a type of melanoma characterized by a yellowish-brown, pronounced area that is soft, flat and elliptical. It is produced by accumulation of cholesterol in the tissue and manifests as a dark, dark brown or yellow spot on the skin. Xanthelasma is a benign lesion that usually has no symptoms, and is cosmetically unattractive and used to be permanent. The lesions tend to increase in number and size, and are symmetrical and bilateral to the eyes. It can occur during upper gastrointestinal examination and can cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea and abdominal pain. In the last 30 years, gastric xanthoma GX, has been observed in more than 1,000 patients in the United States. In 14% of these cases, gastric xanthelasma is the cause of abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain and vomiting. In addition, GX has well-marked single or multiple nodules or plaques with a diameter of 1 to 10 mm, 15 to 20 mm, and a wide band width of sizes from half a millimeter to 1 mm. Xanthomas and Xanthelasma Another characteristic histological feature of cutaneous xanthomas is the presence of lipid-laden macrophages, also known as foam cells. Extracellular lipid deposits and associated fibrosis are associated with these findings. The eruptive xanthoma often has prominent extracellular lipid deposits. Tuberous and tendinous xanthomas often exhibit a high degree of fibrotic inflammation, fibroblasticity and or associated inflammation of the fibrous tissue, such as adipose tissue. Xanthomas are macules, papules, nodules or plaques, characterized by the presence of lipids in the foam cells, which is a histological characteristic of the lesion. Clinicians should be aware of these differential diagnoses when approaching a skin lesion associated with a lipid disorder, which xanthomas and xanthelasma are. Clinical variants of cutaneous xanthomas include those in which they may be idiopathic and those with a hereditary anomaly. Inherited or acquired obesity and hematological diseases are typically associated and clinical variants in the presence or absence of lipids can also cause hereditary and, or acquired obesity. Clinically, they are yellowish papules, plaques or nodules, and have a soft consistency that can be semi-firm or hard. There does not appear to be a clear sexual preference in patients with this disorder, but it is common in both men and women. The lesions are usually embedded and spread over the entire upper eyelid if left to their own devices, but can also affect the lower eyelids and cause skin irritation. Xanthelasma and Xanthomas Clinical Overview Clinically, there are no main requirements for differential diagnosis, but XP Xanthelasma palpebrarum can easily be diagnosed on the basis of clinical background. If the case is unclear, surgical excisions and histopathology should be performed, if the lesions are extremely large and starting to cause issues with the individual's eyesight or for extreme eyelid distortion. Cutaneous xanthoma can occur in both fat and metabolic disorders, which usually depend on the severity of the fatty anomalies. Normal lipidemic xanthomas occur as diffuse flat skin lesions, while hyperlipidemic types are polymorphic and often tuberous and can affect skin, tendons or joints. Nevertheless, the xanthoma could be considered as an inherited anomaly or as the result of a genetic mutation. Xanthelasma used to be permanent, but now two approaches to their removal have become recommended. Surgical removed in xanthal a dedicated treatment cream, especially for removing external xanthelasma and xanthomas. Understand more at xanthelasmatreatment.com or xanthal.com.